what about the titles of our videos or headlines of our videos? Um, you know, someone someone said that you know even though they they thought their video was okay or good, um, the headlines started to feel inauthentic, and the the art of writing headlines or titles is an entire industry. It's you know it's called copywriting, and people get paid sometimes thousands of dollars to come up with the ideal headline for something. Um, usually if they pay thousands, it's to come up with a uh, you know, headline for a big product or something like that. But, um, but for, a, for a video, sometimes people will go on Fiverr and pay a few dozen dollars for someone to research and come up with the perfect headline that's keyword researched and things like that. So uh, just one quick thing about that. YouTube is getting far smarter than what the keyword research tools would have us believe and is no longer based on keywords. It's now based on topics, related topics, semantically related topics. So even the keywords don't matter that much anymore. So the keyword, keyword research tools like TubeBuddy and, and VidIQ are getting nervous because they're like, wow, they're getting way smarter than this. Anyway, so, but back to the headlines though, um, I'll tell you what I, do, what I do with headlines and, and, and those who are watching this later, please go ahead and comment below what you, what you think about. It. I basically think I want a headline that is a mixture of, wow, that's interesting. I want to watch that, right? That's typically what, uh, okay, the typical copywriter, right, would say, let's come up with headline. It's, wow, that's interesting. I want to click on that and watch it, combined with keyword optimization, <laughs> okay? Like, if you can combine the two, that's what the copywriter wants. For me, I say, screw, well, I probably am too casual or not, sorry to say, I probably don't care enough about keyword optimization because I don't care about it at all, okay? So my Venn diagram is this. Wow, that's interesting to watch. And the, the other Venn diagram is that was really accurate. Like I, I watched it and yep, that, that headline summarized it perfectly. So that's my Venn diagram. I, in other words, I replaced the whole keyword optimization with the viewer saying that was accurate. And you know what? I think in the long term, YouTube is trying to optimize for people like me, authentic marketers. Because YouTube doesn't want the cleverest copywriters to always be trying to play the keyword game and trying to game the YouTube or whatever alg you know, Google algorithm, you know, because that's what YouTube and Google are always trying to battle against. The copyright, not the copywriters, but the but the uh, particularly the black hat SEO people, but also copywriters and keyword researchers are, you know, are trying to game the system by saying, well, these are, you know, high volume, low competition keywords. So why don't you use these? But then if everyone used those, then everyone starts to sound like a formula. You see what I mean? And, and, and it starts to feel inauthentic. But like, I wouldn't have chosen these keywords, but apparently that's what's being searched right now. So maybe I should choose those keywords. So I, I really think that keywords research um, ideally should have come before you made the video in the first place. Like it really should be more like key topic research. Like this is what people care about right now. They're searching this stuff. So what's my version of, of, of that? And you make that, then, then therefore you can use my Venn diagram of, okay, come up with something interesting. Plus it's really accurate to what you said because you actually said it. You made, you made a video based on what people care about right now. They're searching for it. So, um, but like I said, e even so, I, 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 to a fault, I don't research keywords and key topics. And, and when I say market research, that's where I feel like I am. Um, I do much more um, personalized market research rather than mass market research. Mass market research would be something like keyword research, right? So I, my keyword research is, or my market research is much more like, oh, Justin, that's what you want. I'll make a video on that. Oh, Leah, that's what you're curious about? Great, I'll answer that question. You know, that's my, but that's not keyword research, right? That's just very personal. That's, anyway, but so I hope this helps. Um, I, basically, that's what, that's, well, that's what I do is what I recommend is to, 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 to the viewer, when they watch your video and they feel like the title was accurate, then it's the opposite of clickbait, right? Because clickbait, is the person who only, remember the two Venn diagrams or the two circles. One is, wow, that was an interesting title. I want to click on that. Versus, 
wow, that was, it's, that was perfectly accurate to what the video was about. The, the Venn diagram, the, the, the middle of that is what we're looking for. And the click clickbait is the one hand is like, wow, that was really interesting title. I'm going to click on that. And oh, the video has nothing, not nothing, but the video was disappointing compared to the promise of the title was like so fascinating. And like, it's going to, you know, the number one secret you'll only ever need for, you know, improving all of your relationships for life. You don't have to, don't watch another video until you watch this, you know, it's, it's that kind of stuff like, wow, that's so interesting, maybe, I guess, to, was that accurate? Because maybe it is. I mean, me literally, I just made a video just now uh, as part of our exercise. I was challenging myself. The, the, the topic of the video was the simplest guide to growing your business with joy. It's a huge promise. That's an interesting title. But can I actually be accurate to that? Well, I just made a four minute, three, four minute video, which I did my very best to come up with, with, with that, with that content. And hopefully someone who watches that go, yeah, that was the simplest kind of, you know, you know, so, so, um, but what about you? Uh, when you come up with, when you've done the video, the key question to ask is what is the most, what is the thing about this video that is most interesting for the person who should watch this video? Like what's the most interesting point or what's the most interesting overarching topic that they are thinking about? So in, the, in other words, okay, like I said, we are, we are making the title afterwards, right? That, that's, the, that's the question right now. So I've just made this video. Based on that video, what is the question that the viewer is asking? Maybe keeping them up at night or they're, they're actually thinking about it right now. Like sometime in their life, they're thinking about it. What's the question they're asking or the problem that they have or the solution that they're seeking or the experience that they want that they wish that this video would help them experience or solve or understand or, yeah, basically, right? So, so the, what's that question? What's that problem? What that, what's that, what's that um, or, or what's that interesting twist that you have on this topic that the user will go, wow, I never, I never saw that twist on, you know, relationships or masculinity before, or, you know, yoga before. Right? Yeah. That makes sense. So let me know if that helps. And of course that makes me wonder what this title is going to be. So you're going to have to find out later. <laughs> yeah. And Justin, I appreciate you saying that. Um, I'm understanding from here that I, it's probably better for me to stick with one idea per video rather than just ramble <laughs> and, and basically have a clear idea before I start recording. Um, yeah, this is why it's, it's always a good idea. It's always a, a good prompt to be answering a question and a very specific question. The more specific the question, uh, the better the video tends to be because you can title it very specifically and people searching for it are like, that's the question I have. And yes, that's a great answer. That's an interesting twist on, on that particular question. And yes, the, when I say headline, uh, I mean the title of the video. It's, you know, when you upload, for example, on YouTube, when you upload the video, the title, that's the thing that they see the biggest before they click, uh, you know, the most important things for YouTube, right? The algorithm is the title and the thumbnail. The thumbnail is a picture, the preview picture of the video and then the title. So they yeah, have the title slash headline. That's what we're talking about.